Hello, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your March 2021 love reading. I hope that you're doing absolutely amazing. Thank you so very much for your patience while I got back to work from my trip. I truly appreciate that. We are going to get rolling. So let me welcome back my VIP members. Super happy to have you here while wow, your cards are flying and I am putting them back in the deck. <laughs> Welcome back VIP members. We are going to be doing a VIP marathon this weekend. So get ready to receive some more content. For those of you that are subscribers, thank you so very much for your subscription to the Empress Moon Tarot 777 channel. Scorpio, I'd like to say that I am the true and official Empress 777 here up on YouTube. Please keep that in mind. Anybody else utilizing my name is trying to ride on my coattails, so please ignore them. <laughs> also, those of you that are repeat viewers, there's a lovely little subscribe button right down there. And for those of you that are brand new to the site, welcome, welcome, welcome. I think we are ready to go. If you're brand new, my name is Kimmy. Very happy to have you here. You may hear me refer to Fred. Fred is my spirit guide. He is not a person here in the room with me. All right, Scorpio, before we get rolling on your cards, which I'm just going to set here so you see that I am not manipulating them in any way, shape, or form, we have the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. You could be moving. It's possible you might be packing up your things, heading on out, leaving somebody toxic, somebody who um, has to win at all costs. Five of Swords is an energy of fighting. It's an energy of deception. It's an energy of betrayal. It's an energy of poor communication skills. It's known as victory at a price. Somebody had victory over something at a big old price. Scorpio, if this is you that had victory, but it came at a price, it looks like you outdid yourself. If this is somebody else who had victory at a price, it looks like they outdid themselves because somebody's walking away here. So I'm not sure who that's for, if that's something related to all of you or only a few of you. We shall see. All right, Scorpio, you have the moon card. We have the devil, whoo, toxic energy. Three of cups, the page of wands, the strength card, the empress, the empress, the empress, the queen of swords, the king of wands, the star, how beautiful, oh my. And there it is again. <sighs> Betrayal, walking away, it's where you're ending your reading, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. Who are you walking away from, Scorpio? Who's walking away from you with the Seven of Swords? All right, people cards here on the board. We have Libra and Virgo. We have Leo and Cancer. We have Libra and Taurus. We have Capricorn and we have Pisces, Cancer and Aquarius. Additional energies, we have Cancer, Leo, Aquarius and Aries, Sag. Are we ready? This is gonna be a rough one. <laughs> Just settle in because it looks like it's gonna be tough. All right, let's start at the ending, shall we? Wow, like wow, 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 Scorpio. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, Ten of Wands. And in this Ten of Wands, it's somebody taking off and getting the heck out of Dodge, which is what the Seven of Swords is. It's also the Five of Swords is what pushes that there. So some form of communication with this Queen of Swords energy and this King of Wands energy being in the challenge position, it's almost like Scorpio, you see your person as the Queen of Swords they see you as the king of wands, right? Male or female does not matter. On the challenge for the two of you is coming to a point of pleasant communication that fixes a problem, that brings peace between you and another person. 
that brings healing between you and another person. The Queen of Swords in the challenge position is somebody who's angry, who's uh, combative. The King of Wands, anger, combativeness. So we have both of you looking at each other saying, <laughs> excuse the motorcycle. <laughs> both of you looking at, e well, looking away from one another saying, you fucking outdid yourself this time. You won, but what did you lose? That's you or the other person. I'm not directing it at you, Scorpio. <laughs> Somebody won at a big old price. At a big old price. All right, so are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news here, Scorpio. So you have two very confusing energies in the headspace, right? You have the moon and you have the devil. Scorpio, you have you have the moon. Now, the, the moon card is your fellow water signs card. It's Pisces, it's Cancer. And so a Pisces can, can wade in emotions and follow their intuition, no trouble. A cancer is a little bit more stable about it, right? But they're ruled by the moon. Cancer is. So there's like an energy of of being a little bit out of control emotionally. But Scorpio, for you, this is sink. This is sinking in emotions. Because a Scorpio gets it stuck in their head and they can't let go of it. They obsess about it. So... Scorpio, you might be dealing with another Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, because the two of you both have this energy of confusion on the mind space. Uh, they have the devil, so perhaps they're extremely sexually attracted to you in some way, Scorpio, or you to them. Um, they may feel that there's a toxic element to your connection, which we definitely see here. Um, So, heart space though. The way you view each other from heart to heart, you know, the way your heart speaks to one another is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. They're holding on tight to you, they haven't let go. Page of Wands, they feel a sense of excitement about you, they feel a sense of, of you know, desire and pull and attraction towards you, Scorpio. And you have the Three of Cups. You may desire reunion with this person if you are apart from this person. If not, you have a, a wonderful time of happiness and togetherness with this person when you're together. And what do you both want? Also looks really good. Scorpio, you have the Strength card. They have the Empress. Combined, there's this desire for a new beginning, for both of you to be strong, to have this new beginning together. But yet in the mind space, the two of you need a mental reboot. The two of you need a mental reboot because on a mind level, which is why I said maybe you're both Scorpios, <laughs> on a mind level, it's like you see that the, you feel like the two of you are combative, right? But you're also each other's wish, each other's desire, each other's hope. There's healing here. If you and this person can get out of this energy of victory at a price and, you know, I'm just going to sneak away and not even talk about it. Or, you know, this energy of a lack of open, honest, direct communication. If you can come to a point of communication then you can clear up this confusion regarding your emotions. They can clear up their confusion regarding you. And the two of you can explore this happy, beautiful energy together. Because right here at the center of everything is where you're connected. You're connected by hope. You're connected by this loving energy on the heart space that, the, that you feel for one another. You're connected in a desire for a new beginning if the two of you can communicate. 
So, um, Scorpio, I am going to pull some more cards on this and I am going to see where this is going. Um, this could be anybody. This could be somebody that you're romantically involved with. It could be somebody that you're apart from. This could be somebody from times long ago, but I am seeing a little bit of a hiccup that needs to be dealt with and resolved. So stay tuned to find out what I discover in the extended preview. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, so a lot of cards. As you see, I've got a couple decks sitting on top of the board. Um, so we took some uh, Romance Angels cards. We were constantly interrupted by motorcycles. <laughs> so it got really interesting, Scorpio. You and this person are actually not at a point of ending. I'm not seeing that at all. In fact, I'm seeing two people who really feel very deeply for one another, resolving a conflict. The conflict here appears to show very strongly on your side, Scorpio. So it may be a perception and less of a reality um, because it doesn't seem to show on both sides. It only shows on one. So it could be a, a perception that it's a perceived situation that has gone awry, right? But what I'm actually seeing is I'm actually seeing that your person is holding on pretty tight to you, Scorpio. So we had some really beautiful cards come out on them. We had some cards come out on you and what's going on with you. Um, we also had some cards come out on the whole situation of the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords issue and, and what's going on there. Massive, massive error in, um, massive error in, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Perception, just massive error in perception. This something perceived that is not quite, quite the reality. It looks really quite beautiful, actually, Scorpio. Um, also, for those of you that want to hear about, um, there was a, there's a strong spirit urging in this particular reading that reminds reminds me in a way um, about um, how. My spirit guide, Fred, decided to push me like crazy on my birthday um, last week. And so it was like, same thing was being thrown in my face like all day long. So if you want to hear about that, that's in the extended. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it related to a particular card that was in your spread as well. But it looks really fantastic, Scorpio. I mean, it may seem as if all hope is lost and that you know, this person is, is, you know, booking it on out, hightailing it on out of your life, but nope, I don't see that whatsoever. So if you're interested in finding out more, there's a link down below in the description box and a link in the comments. As always, Scorpio, love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. Mwah! And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.